What's going on guys? Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. It is the 20th of September and we are starting a brand new day. Pretty much around three o'clock. We're literally about to have a pre-workout meal and head to the gym. Couple upgrades to the apartment. I'm going to show you briefly in a second because obviously, as you know, me and Jordi moved into this place about a month ago and slowly we've been transitioning into this place and making it feel more like a home. So I'll show you that in a second as well as two things that are dropping with Hard Body in just nine days time that I've been working on for literally like three minutes maybe four months now, and they're finally dropping. You may notice that I'm actually wearing my glasses, which I really never ever do like when I vlog, but there's a massive reason for this. And when I say massive, I'm, I mean massive. I don't know how or why this has appeared, but I never get spots on my face. But as you can see right there, there is the remnants of what used to be a spot on my face before I got the tweezers and pulled it out of my face. It sounds very graphic. To be honest, it, it was. This is literally how I look every single day because I always wear glasses. I just don't when I vlog because I can see the glare from the screen. This is me pretty much all the time so we're keeping them on upgrade to the apartment number one we have this edit station plus the restart of the podcast and obviously my iMac which I haven't had a home for for a long time but now we have a nice desk to get everything done the next thing is just upstairs we got really lucky this place was pretty much partly furnished when we did move in had a bed drawers storage that kind of thing but it didn't have a wardrobe until about a week ago when this massive thing got delivered and it was actually built three days ago it pretty much completes the bedroom as well as this massive wardrobe we now have a massive mirror as well so this apartment as well as the desk downstairs is pretty much almost finished we just need a couple decorational pieces maybe some pictures some candles maybe a plant in the corner of the bedroom when all that clutter is gone we can put a mirror on that wall when all that is done the apartment is finished in the place now it's beautiful it's almost finished we still have some finishing touches but i'm just eating a bowl of prawns veggies and rest as my pre-workout meal off to the gym and train and have an epic session but you have something to show them first I'm quite nervous because I have been working on these for so long and I've shown you briefly before so I'm going to show you again really quickly before I head to the gym. We have two products. We're going to unbox them right now and show you what's inside. This has been something that has had more samples than I would like to admit. It is now finally complete. Welcome to Hard Body's first ever bag. But the fact that we've actually finished this now and it is everything that I want it to be proves in my mind that if you spend time on making something perfect, eventually it can be. With a lot of money, and a lot of time, you can make something great. This is dropping on the 29th of September, so literally in one week's time, and it's really quite special because that's actually one year since the very first Hard Body release of the very first two bundles. All right. Oh my God. This bag marks the one year anniversary of Hard Body. Insulated section with black insulation so you can keep meals cold or hot. On the other side is a compartment for your shoes, a really, really deep pocket. There's a lot of material there. Breathing holes so your shoes don't sweat. There is also an embroidered patch right here that says the company slogan, which is yours to make. All the clips are actually metal, which originally used to be plastic, but I wanted that to be changed. I didn't want like too over the top branding for this bag. So it's a nice subtle patch on the side of the bag. The next product is actually something that should be an essential piece of everyone's gym bag, which actually should be now the Hard Buddy gym bag. It's essentially called the Hard Pin. And what it's designed for is to help you load more weight onto a pin loaded machine. You take the pin out the machine that the machine offers and you can stack plates on the side of this. Now a question you may be wondering is will my plates fall off? Put a clip onto the end, tighten it, and your plates won't fall off if for whatever reason this pin isn't stable in the machine. This should be an essential part of everyone's gym bag, especially if you are quite strong. It's almost like a bragging right, like if you have one of these in your gym bag, you look strong as fuck. Actually, I don't wanna swear. <laughs> you look really strong, whether it be a shoulder press, abductor or adductor, any kind of tricep extension machine. Now, your problem is solved. This is gonna be available at the same time on the 29th of this month as the duffel bag. So two new pieces are gonna be available on the Hard Buddy website, 29th, four o'clock UK time. <sighs> This is so good. These are epic. Look at this. Look how clean that is. Just to finish on that, hard body in collaboration with Jim Pin. There we go. Pick yourself up a duffel bag and a Jim Pin at the same time. The link for the website is in literally the bottom of every single YouTube description. So you know exactly where to go to the hard body website on the 29th to pick up your new duffel bag and hard pin. What are you training? I'm training full upper body. Oh. Massive. Oh my God. <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh yeah. A massive man with a big dick. I have one. Thanks for making me a free.
Alright guys, so as you can see, we are currently at the gym, training with the man himself, Lewis. We both have the same coach, we both have the same goal in mind, to get a pro card next year. Lewis can do a bit of chest at the end, I'm going to stick to just shoulders and triceps. We're going to get on with the rest of the workout now and see how it goes. We just hit a PR on the plate loaded shoulder press of five plates for, I think it was five or six reps, I'm not sure. But whatever it was, I've never done that much weight before for that many reps on the shoulder press machine. So the workout is starting off pretty good. You say five or six reps, but early on I was recording. I was counting the reps and we watched the video back. He hit seven reps and he got up and he was like, yeah, that was 10. <laughs> no, bro, no, no, it wasn't 10. Let's <laughs> see some moves, guys. Brandon, Dan. <laughs> only go like another half a plate because this feels like so much heavier than it is. It's sick though. shoulder workout for me. Me and Jordy, because it's a Sunday today, we have to head off to this store called HomeSense. We've been doing a bunch of shopping for the apartment there because it literally has everything you need for like small little decorational pieces for an apartment. I know I'm getting hyped about a home decoration place. When you get your own apartment, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's really nice as well. Sometimes hitting a workout with a partner like me and Lewis have been training together really consistently now. Considering Lewis is also coached by Callum, we both follow the exact same training style, which is nice because our workout splits are different. We're also hitting a lot more variety following each other's workouts as well. Right now we're gonna head off and pick up some stuff for the apartment. Just sat down doing some work, demolished a post-workout meal, and I'm sipping on some water to try and get the intake a little bit higher today because I'm a little bit behind on water. Had a really, really good session. Actually did some posing at the end in the posing room because Phoenix actually has a posing room. And I got this picture right here with some sick down lighting, just doing a front double bicep. And I'm actually really, really happy with that. The off season is going pretty well right now considering the fact that we are still on TRT. All I need to do is call up Superdrug, make the appointment, get that blood taken. And then shortly after I'll be receiving my results, which I'll be reviewing in a future video with my coach. So you can see exactly what is happening inside my body before we start the bulking series. It's gonna be the most in-depth bulking series you've literally ever seen. It's gonna be exactly what I tried to do on prep with my big Earn Natty reveal video. All the footage that I've been recording my entire prep of literally all the darkest moments. There was even clips like lay on the floor of the bathroom after doing an injection and getting like cold sweats and questioning why I was doing things, making up syringes, all these sort of things. Just like crazy in-depth stuff, stuff that's never been seen on YouTube before. And I'm gonna be doing that exact same thing on the off season, but instead of saving it for one video at the end, with potentially the chance of losing it all again, I'm just gonna be open and transparent the entire way through the whole bulking series, keeping you in the loop about what I'm taking, how I'm doing it, how I'm feeling, the darkest moments, the brightest moments, all those sort of things. There is that to look forward to when that begins. With the Olympia coming up really soon, I'm actually gonna give my opinion on whether I think that Chris Bumstead can take a 3 P and win the Olympia for the third time. After spending time on Instagram looking at all the competitors, seeing the physiques that people are bringing like there are, 
some people that definitely should be considered as like potential top three placings for the Olympia. A lot of new phases to the classic physique Olympia stage. When I was looking at Chris Bumstead's physique updates versus Breon's physique updates, Breon looked as if he was getting leaner a lot faster than Chris while retaining so much muscle mass because Breon is slightly older than Chris, has a lot more muscle maturity, a lot more dense muscle. I was starting to think that Breon literally may have the edge. I think this is exactly what Chris wanted because recently he has been posting some physique updates as you can see on the screen right now. He has been posting a lot more revealing stuff in his YouTube videos. I actually just watched one right now and as you can see the man is looking so so dense, shredded, grainy. This is just like a massive form of motivation for me, especially going into my off season now with the main goal of trying to create dense muscle, like the kind of muscle that you can't just lose when dieting. Because obviously when you do diet, you do sacrifice size. And what is pretty much left for you to present on stage is your sheer muscle mass or what you can retain while cutting off the body fat on prep. We have to do a lot of growing on this off season and seeing this, seeing what can be done. I mean, Chris is literally like 26, 27 years old. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm 24. Having anything close to that just seems so unattainable and unreachable because it just seems so far away. I'm definitely gonna give this thing literally everything that I do have to achieve the best physique that I literally can. Based on what I've seen, based on what has been posted over the last couple of weeks, I do predict that Chris is going to win this year's Olympia. I've seen the caliber of athlete that is gonna be competing this year. So many godly physiques, like next level genetics, things that don't even look like they can exist, that definitely are deserving of stepping on the Olympia stage. But if Chris turns up looking exactly the same as he did last year, in my opinion, he's already won. But we all know for sure that that's not gonna happen. And every single year he gets better and better and better. And this year, I do believe, will be no different. Forgot to mention that this morning I literally woke up at 5.30 to get the train all the way to London to pick something up that I haven't had for a little while because some work has been done on it. So here is where I was this morning basically. Alright guys, so we just pulled up to Yanomai's. Kindly was picked up from the train station by the team to pick up something. I handed in about a week ago to make two changes that I really, really wanted to make even when I bought the car. One thing was the colour of the calipers. They used to be grey and now they are actually hard body red. Here she is. It hasn't been driven for for the past week, but we're picking her up with some new shoes. Now the calipers, as you can see, are currently red, which honestly make the wheels look so much bigger than they already do. But there has been another change on the car that you actually cannot see because it's inside here. It's a little bit faster, should be a little bit louder because I have taken the limiter off, but obviously we're not we're not gonna be racing the car, we're gonna be driving it really, really nicely, so you're not gonna notice that. Massive shout out to Yanomise for hooking me up. Now we're gonna drive it back to Brighton. As you can see, the R8 is back in my possession. While I've been driving it since I've had it for the past two months, sometimes I'm questioning, like, was this a good decision? Should I have actually done this? And not having it for the past week and a half, I've just been thinking, like, yes, it was smart because I miss it so much. I enjoy driving it so much. It literally just is my dream car. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, do me a favor, turn on post notifications because one, helps channel grow and two, you'll never miss a future video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.